Hi everyone, my name is Daryl. And I'm Nicole. And we're coming to you from Bryce Canyon National Park. Live <laughs> on our A-Liner podcast. <laughs> we're not really live because we're not streaming live. But we're recording it and basically I'm not going to make any edits other than putting pictures on it. So. Well, well, that's still not live. Okay. <laughs> But we're coming to you from Bryce Canyon National Park, Sunset Campground. Behind us, you see a beautiful meadow. It's a beautiful campground. Um, if you haven't been to Bryce Canyon National Park, I'd highly suggest ch coming to check it out and camping at Sunset Campground or North Campground. Yeah, and it's not a, a super big national park. There's a number of hikes that you can take in the area, but you can certainly, you know, just make a day trip out of this national park. Um, you know, see, you know, the basically the uh, the the, high, the hoodoos. The hoodoos, and what do they call it? The uh, Coliseum, or what the is that Bryce called? The Bryce Amphitheater. The Bryce Amphitheater, which is, you know, it's not really an amphitheater where you sit, but it kind of looks like an amphitheater um, because it looks like there's some seating and stuff. But it's really amazing. It's really cool. Um, so definitely come check out Bryce Canyon National Park and the campground is beautiful hot water at yeah. the restrooms which yeah. is almost unheard of and they have two campgrounds one is uh, reservable through recreation.gov and it's really tough to get a spot and the other one is a first come first serve just make sure you get here early uh, because later in the day it's just there's a lot of people looking for spots yep okay so today we're um, uh, the main part of our podcast is about cool things we've seen on the various Facebook groups. Um, so we just wanted, in case you guys aren't members of those, kind of highlight some of the things we've seen that we thought were really cool. And the kind of the format for this podcast is, you know, we're going to we're members of all the different Facebook groups for A-liners, and so as we see interesting things, we're going to bring them to you. Um, also, if there's um, you know, an interesting thing that we bring you and, you know, there's a lot of interest in diving deeper into that particular topic. Um, we will try to get the person to come on our podcast and be interviewed to talk a little bit about a little bit more about that specific mod, how long it took them, you know, precisely exactly how they did it. Um, and I can ask them questions as well, something that might be unclear. Or you can join those Facebook groups, which I would suggest in any case um, and then uh, you could ask them you know find their post and then ask them questions directly and see if they respond to you yep absolutely Alrighty, so the first modification is kind of more about storage um, there's a lot of issues with storage in the a-liner and the first one is by uh, Ann Tenner and it was posted in a group called A-Liner Campers Stash Private Group um, and it is a shelf that she got off of Amazon that hangs on that outdoor rail where you would normally attach your grill. Um, we don't use our grill and it's always nice to have a little bit of extra storage right by the door um, for when you're coming in and out and I thought this was a really cool idea and it's just a shelf that she bought and it just hooks right onto that rail. So what are you gonna what are you gonna put on there? I don't know what I'm gonna put on it but I did order the shelf. <laughs> um, so on a, You can always return it if you decide you don't yeah. need it. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna see how it, it works. Um, I'm gonna put uh, so I like to cook outside and I'm gonna put my food on there when I'm bringing it back into the A-liner if we're eating inside okay. or anything else that I'd like to have by the door um, you know maybe put the coffee on there or I don't know we'll see what I can use it for okay the, um, one thing I do want to make note of is for all of these posts we did contact the persons directly um, just to make sure that they wouldn't mind if we shared um, their particular post um, you know because a lot of these groups um, are private and aren't public and we don't want to share uh, anybody's name or their particular post if, unless we have approval to do so. All right, and okay. kind of along the storage uh, ideas is another post that was made. Um, it is a shelf for inside the hard dormers, um, and uh, this came on A Liner Life Facebook group, and it was posted by Mary Martin Govan. Um, and what she has done is taken Christmas wreath hangers and hung those on the side parts of the dormer, and then she bought uh, like a wire shelf and I think she may have attached two of them together and hung that onto those Christmas wreath 
hangers. Um, it's a really cool um, idea. And the shelf hangs right above the window in the dormer, which is important because you don't want to lose that window. Yeah, especially with the hard dormers, because unlike the soft dormers that have the big picture windows, um, you only have one window um, on the hard dormers, and so you'd hate to lose that. Yeah, and so uh, you wouldn't want to put anything super heavy on there, because one, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on those those side panels of the dormer. And uh, I mean, the wire shells don't really hold really heavy things, but it's great for like throwing some clothes up there, um, any kind of you know light items uh, you do need to take it down when you take down your dormer so it's not a permanent solution yeah but it's nice you know if you're planning to stay somewhere for a long time you can just throw your your clothes up there yep um i think you know we do um we <laughs> kind of set up a movie theater screen um so we can watch movies at night and stuff like that and the dormers actually work perfectly for that um, so we might actually, instead of putting it in the, the front dormer, the larger one, we might um, do something um, on the back dormer, which is a little bit smaller, um, perhaps. Um, or, per, or maybe we use the, the front dormer and we find a way to hook our, our, you know, our movie screen up using, using that as, as part, of the, you know, part of the solution. So. Yeah, but um, we're not planning to try this out quite yet not like that outdoor shelf but in the future um we're definitely going to see how this works yep thank you very much mary for um for sharing that post it's always great when um and that's really what these facebook groups are for is for helping folks um sharing information and so it's great when you come across either a product or a modification that you've done um, and you document it and you share it in the group and that just helps everybody out so yeah, that's really for cool. sure and you know we are only bringing you what we thought was interesting so you should still join these facebook groups yourselves and see what else is out there because i mean something that we didn't particularly find interesting you might or it might be like just the right solution for a problem you've been having next thing we're going to talk about is um air conditioning air, con <laughs> and that, air conditioning is a big thing you know we're, we're coming into fall now and so you know it's it's you know it's we're, we're we're in bryce and it's pretty it was actually in low 70s so we didn't have to use the air conditioning at all at zion we did yeah we just came um, from zion and it was very hot yeah it was very hot and i was trying to spend some time our campsite there did not have any shade so i thought i'd sit inside the a-liner with the dogs during the day and uh at the top of the heat at the top of the heat and i was going to have on the air conditioning and it did not cool very well well and but but one thing that a-liner does recommend is that um for the heat pump um the ac part of the heat pump in order for it to work effectively one of the things that you're supposed to do is kind of prop open a side window a little bit and also turn on that um the fantastic, fantastic fan um to vent outwards and that will help the ac work to its optimal level so if you aren't doing that that's one of the things that you can do to try to improve things a little yeah. bit so you didn't i was not able to open the fan because i am too short <laughs> <laughs> so and i didn't want to like let any hot air in so. but uh, yeah so it was not it was not great right um so but there's people that have come up with solutions for the air conditioning so one of the things that i also want to mention is this particular solution for the most part is for um, A-liner owners that have the heat pump that also have the convertible sofa bed. And so with that, you have the vents underneath the, the sofa bed. And so when you extend that bed, then the cool, because the, the cooling doesn't rise, right? Cooling stays down below. Um, it gets kind of trapped down there and it doesn't make its way out um, actually into the A-liner. And so this is specifically um, for those of you with with in that particular situation. Yeah um, So the first one we have is uh, we're gonna take these from uh, Temporary to more permanent. Yep. So this first one is sort of I mean you do have to attach some things um, This was a post in a liner life by Robin Godfrey um, And what they have done is they have attached this little white um, 
outlet thing and then attached flexible hoses to it um, so and then she takes the flexible hoses and she can like direct them wherever i um, mean you can see her laying on the bed and that looks really fabulous to be it looks able kinda, to it looks kind of fun actually <laughs> yeah it looks kind of fun to be able to like really redirect all of the cold air directly where you want it i mean it would have been great if i could have had it that way for the dogs i could have like taken one of those flexible hoses and it pointed them at each dog because let me tell you the dogs were hot in zion yeah um they were hot inside the a-liner and i eventually moved out of the a-liner and back into our screen room because it was just too hot in there yeah um but this would have been great i mean i it looks like you can just disattach the hoses and store them when you're traveling yep. um it's a great little temporary fix um all you have to do is install those those white things onto your existing vents and then you can attach those flexible hoses yep that's really cool um so this next solution is a little bit more of a permanent solution so it's a little more attractive looking as opposed to the hoses kind of going all over the place <laughs> <laughs> Um, so this um, post was done um, by Robert Robinson and it is in A-Liner Campers oh. slash private group. Yeah, so it's in the A-Liner Campers private group. So a lot of our actually solutions come from this particular group. So thank you very much for um, posting to that group. His name was Robert Robinson and he had a th I guess he got a 3D printer and he also has some engineering, some CAD experience. And so he designed some pieces specifically to help solve the solution of the problems with the cooling um, with the heat pump. And he basically designed, um, I think, two different parts. Um, he designed one part, which is a little kind of a flange that um, goes over the top. Now, it doesn't go over the top of the existing vent. You have to kind of unscrew it, and then you screw that um, over the existing kind of um, flange or whatever you want to call it. Then you have some flexible um, tubing that then goes from this flange to another piece that he designed that goes to the bottom of the bed um, that, that attaches to the bed and it's kind of a vent and it attaches to that and it extends basically the cooling um, out to the very end of the bed. And so I thought this was a really nice solution. Now I did reach out um, directly to Robert. Well, not directly to Robert. I, I basically um, posted on, on the original post and I said, you know, uh, can you um, kind of convert it back to um, the couch and keep it in place and then convert it back to the bed? And he said, no, you do have to unattach it. So, you know, that's one of the things that we're kind of lazy campers. Um, we don't like to have to do much to prepare for bed. You know, we kind of like to set up camp once and then just be yep. done with it. Um, so depending on how, you know, obviously this wouldn't take too much time to do, um, but depending on, you know, if you're one of these people that just kind of likes to go to bed without having to do too much, then this might not be for you. But this was a, a really interesting modification. And Robert, you know, he actually, took the time to offer this to other A-liner owners. And so on the post, he said, if you are interested in purchasing this, I mean, it basically t took him a whole day just to, you know, print these two pieces uh, on his printer. Um, but he said, you know, he would be willing to create them and, and ship them off to other, other owners. And um, so that was really nice of him. And another owner did actually say that, um, that they got the parts from from Robert and that they worked they worked perfectly and so yes yeah, thanks so much Robert for um, you know creating this post and coming up with this great solution um, and uh, yeah so it's awesome yeah that's yeah. great yeah and then our third um, uh, air conditioning solution is the most permanent and this is a very involved um, <laughs> uh, involved uh, process. It was posted on A-Liner Campers private group, same place. Very good, very good. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was posted by Kimberly Peter Broussard. Kimberly and Peter Broussard. Yep. And so uh, this is a really involved, uh, I mean, this guy 
um, that designed this, he did a lot of work. He put together a lot of documentation yep. that he has attached in that group. So we're not going to really go through all of his documentation um, because you can go and request to join the group and then go in there and, you know, if you're interested in this and uh, actually look at his schem schematics. Um, we're going to just give you a little brief little overview of what he has done. Yeah. And so basically the, the permanent solution. So this has to do with the uh, command uh, heat pump. And I think they started um, putting those in place, I think maybe in 2021. Um, now on this particular unit, you actually have um, three vents. And I'm not sure if that was the case um, on the other unit, on the Cool Cat heat pump. Um, his particular unit actually uh, took made use of all three of the um, vents, whereas ours, um, we actually only use two of the vents. One of our vents is kind of um, plugged up with some styrofoam. Um, but basically, he just redirected um, from two of the vents up to the top above his bed. And he also, as part of that process, he created um, kind of like a box um, that also serves as storage. And so it's a pretty elegant solution that he did. Um, this is a, a permanent solution, so um, you don't have to set it up or anything. It's basically just ready to go. And, um, you know, he did say that um, he, you know, he reused one of the existing vents that was down below, um, but he said, he might have thoughts of in the future of um, moving that kind of to maybe like a side panel or something like that to better um, separate the return airflow from the exhaust airflow. That's one of the things that the command AC documentation talked about is they really wanted some separations between the return and and the, the exhaust. and. With the A-liner solution, it's they're right next to each other, and so, you know, sometimes that's probably not the most elegant solution, um, the way it's designed. But you know, we all know with the A-liner um, <laughs> trailers, you just don't have a lot of real estate to work with, and um, and so you can see on on this photo. Um, the boxes actually look pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, you know, it really does look like it was. Would, factory yeah like it was part of the a-liner design yep. um so um it's an amazing solution yeah props to props to peter uh, for coming up with this and for taking the time to you know come up with the schematics and share it with everybody um as well as the design i i think you guys have all seen with the a-liner evolution how they modified that so that um the actual venting of the or the exhaust of the uh of the the, the the ac heat pump is actually not underneath anymore they actually moved it off to the side um so i, I don't know if peter got um some of his ideas from that but you know peter did reach out uh, or looked at the documentation from the command AC unit. I think he said he had a conversation with them and he also had conversations directly with the technician from A-Liner um, to get a better understanding of why they did what they did. And that gave him, you know, kind of some ideas for how um, he could design his system so that it would improve upon uh, the current the current cooling solution. So, yeah, it's it's this is really awesome, and it's an amazing piece of work that he has done on yeah. this. And so I think it might actually give some ideas to Aliner as well as for either improving or coming up with um, some solutions to rec recommend to existing owners for how to improve um, their current cooling, cooling yeah, system. And even if you don't go with his entire solution, I mean, take a look at his documentation because he gives you a lot of good ideas that you might be able to like modify into something yep. that's unique to you. Yep. And the, even even just the storage solution is kind yep, of, kind of interesting. Yeah, the storage solution is really nice, as, especially if you don't need that entire bed. Yep, absolutely. Um, I think you have one more, Nicole. Um, yep. I have one more, and this is really just kind of a, an aesthetic um, solution. This is also on the A-Liner Campers private group. Um, this is not uh, any kind of uh, storage or, <laughs> you know, really practical solution. But it's this cool. Is, this is a really cool exterior paint job. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is an A-Liner. I think this is a chalet. Um, and it was posted by Aaron DJ Davis. 
and he has painted cute little trees on the outside of his his uh, A-frame. Yep. I think it looks really cool. It like gives it some personality. Um, I just really liked it. I, that's why we're featuring this one. Yeah, and we're we're actually looking at getting a Jeep Wrangler, and we saw a couple of Jeeps, or at least one here, yeah. um, that had a kind of a similar solution. So it'd be kind of cool if you could actually have this on your A-liner and then have it on your tow vehicle. Too. Yeah, that would be really. That cool. That would be fun. <laughs> People might think you're crazy if you're driving around on your tow vehicle, though, without <laughs> without your A-liner and have trees on it. No, but not a Jeep. No, not a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks, everybody, for listening to our podcast. Yep. And thanks for joining us here at Bryce Canyon National Park. Oh, so one thing. So... Um... If any of these modifications are one of your favorites, and if you would like us to um, dive a little bit deeper into any of these modifications, um, you know, either comment on our Facebook post that we'll be doing, or or as well as the YouTube video, and um, yeah, depending on you know which one has the most interest and we'll also reach out to the owners if they're also interested in being interviewed to you know talk a little bit more about their solution and um yeah we'll have that probably in the next couple of episodes where um, we get a little bit uh, deeper into a solution and you for sure will be checking out my outdoor shelf because that is on order and will be <laughs> waiting for me when i get home from this camping trip <laughs> so yeah uh, we hope to see you on the next one and once again if, if you currently aren't subscribed please consider subscribing and also uh, liking this video um, you know it helps the channel out a lot um, so so thank you thank you and we'll talk to you later okay bye bye okay bye I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought